Hey guys. So today's the day that I finally get to put my motor back in my car. You'd think that I'd be really excited, and I don't know why I'm not. Uh, I don't know if maybe I just know it's going to be a lot of work and I'm trying to be lazy or what, but I think uh, I'm about to start getting after it, and I think once I start moving, I'll maybe get into it a little bit. Uh, I need to move all this junk out of the way. I need to give as much space as possible for my car to line up straight. Uh, basically, I just want to be able to run right between these trees, but I need to get all the stuff out of the way so we're not trying to... Anyway, uh, I do need to spray the oil pan still. I haven't painted it because I just keep sitting it down on this tire and I knew it was going to get dirty again or scratched up. So uh, I'm going to lift this thing up after a while and uh, spray the bottom, just put a little coat on it. You can't see it, but I also can't paint it while it's in there. So I'm actually not going to fully hook it up tonight. I'm just going to get the motor inside the car or at least get the car up here. I might not even put the motor in tonight. And uh, that way I can film all of it uh, in this video. So uh, by the end of this video, we will have this motor inside the Camaro and uh, the Camaro running. Guess I gotta get three more motors now. Dang it. Uh, I don't want to spray it with water and then have to wait for it to dry, so I'm just going to get a wet towel. And I'm actually just going to wipe it down with a wet towel. That way it should dry pretty quickly and then I can spray it. Well guys, you can see, I didn't ever paint this because it's just been sitting on tire and all that scuffed up. So I got this painted. Mostly good enough for me. Looks good from the side, that's all that really matters. Camaro's right there, it's gonna get pushed right back there, and right up here. Oh, morning. Good morning, everyone. Today's the day. The sun is shining, the tank is clean. <gasps> tank is clean. Uh, morning. It's morning, everyone. Today's the day. The sun is shining, the tank is clean, and we are getting out of <gasps> the tank is clean. The tank is clean! <laughs> oh, I'm still not feeling it today, guys. Um, but I did get the motor, the car up here to the motor. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't film it. I don't know that the car is going to leave this spot today. But the car is going to run today. Got me another little spider living down here. He's got a massive web. He's actually living in that little hole right there. So I gotta get a couple people evicted. And then uh, we'll get started on this. I would like to peacefully re relocate you to a new location, please. I'm not trying to hurt you, just climb aboard. Climb aboard. Okay. Well, there's one. This one's not gonna like it so much, I don't think. I gotta pull some of this wire stuff out of the way and pin it back. Basically, the game plan is gonna be, I'm gonna just kinda sit right here, push the motor forward, I'm gonna step on the nose of the trans, on the tail of the transmission which is going to drive it down that way and then I'll just ratchet the chain down um, this bolt right here goes inside of this piece right here just goes through there both sides uh, I've already got my transmission mount on and um, here's my cross member and then after that I just gotta pretty much hook everything up I've got I've already got the motor running I've already test ran it I've got all the motor set up in the front. I'm gonna time myself just to, uh, just because I'm curious how quick I can do it and that'll motivate me to keep going. How are you this morning? Thanks for helping your daddy. Thanks for helping. Let me rub your belly. Hmm? Oh. You think you deserve this? 
the transmission is that close to hitting my windshield, which would be the absolute worst thing that could happen. Now I'm not gonna hurry anything because I'm just working by myself and I don't wanna make a mistake. Break my windshield or something like that, but I do wanna know how long it takes me. I've got the whole tail shaft under the uh, under the lip right there of the firewall. I think I'm gonna get down in here with it. I don't know. I think I need to go up. As crazy as that. Oh, it did what I wanted it to, but that was scary. Whoo. Okay. I'm not worried about me because I I can just pull out this way, but. I don't want it to tear up my car, you know? I still got the shifter on this freaking transmission, which makes it, this guy buys, makes means I gotta get four more inches. I think it's going, I think it's going. So close. Sneak. Sneak. Look at my beautiful paint job just getting destroyed. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, see where we're at. The problem is this shifter, which I should have, could have taken off, but I didn't want to. So now that I can see from behind, though, I'm just on the side of the tunnel. If I just even it out, I, I'm in. So, I think I'm going to lift it back up just a little bit. Lift it back up, try to get the center of that tunnel, and then dive again. Uh-oh. I'm gonna bend that shifter is what I'm gonna do. We're so close. I mean, we're right on the lip right there about to go in. I hope that shifter isn't bent. And uh, here's how much we have to clear right here. But once that, once that shifter goes, this whole thing's gonna go. So I don't want my leg to be back there. All right, so I had the camera zoomed in so you couldn't see, but uh, I finally got a couple more links out of that. Luckily, I wasn't behind it or anything. Uh, shifter's way down here now, so we got our room now. Got it moved uh, better on the chain. We should be good to go now. I'm just gonna get in there and walk it down. I'm already kinda like this, so I should've honestly came a foot closer, but I couldn't because the windshield, remember? So I'm gonna have to make it work, but my motor mounts are here, stands here, so we got a lot to go that way. Transmission mount put in. That's Dave's. That's Dave's tarp.
All right, so I got this thing pivoting free in there. Um, I'm not strong enough to just pick up the whole thing from the transmission and set it up on the mount. So what I'm gonna do is get the jack out and that'll actually give me an extra set of hands so I can work the jack down there while I'm working up here. I got a helper. I know it's hard to see what's going on, but here's the bottom side. That's the tail shaft of the transmission. Right on the other side I have a jack. So I'm gonna try to pick this tail up enough to slide the jack under it. Then I'll be able to jack the jack up. Here's the uh, member right here, the cross member. I need to jack the jack up, then I can slide this underneath it. Then the motor should sit down in place. See, there's the jack, the tail shaft's resting on it. There's the trans mount, so I just gotta jack it up enough. That shifter has to come through the floor, so that's gonna be a process. But once I get that shifter up in the floor, we're definitely good. Here's how the motor's looking. We're clear. I took a lot of paint off the oil pan, but like I said, you can't see. I don't care. It's gonna start setting down. I don't have a good angle on my chain, but. See how I'm doing on time. Here's the situation with the transmission. Jack's holding it right there. It's trying to roll over. I need to get it to set. This rubber piece right here is supposed to go on the back side of this. So I need to come back by about a whole foot and that motor will sit. All right guys, so the chain is back like this. I mean, I, I can't get any more without having to push and it's just not going to go. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to push the car forward and I need like almost a whole foot. So, since I don't have a way to do that, I'm just going to back my truck down here, put a tire behind my truck or a car and push it with my truck. Bad execution. My tires just spin. I guess I gotta get the come along and chain it to a tree. Holding it for now, but it's not holding it for long. Coming down. Get over there. So uh, one of my buddies came by. He was just riding by on his motorcycle and noticed that I was out here working. So he stopped and uh, and uh, he got here just to help me, just in time to help me get the motor in place. So uh, the motor mount bolts are really, really close. Uh, the chain's still holding the motor, so once I lower it down a little bit, it's going to set perfectly down in there. Uh, I need to put the tranny mount in there first, so uh, I had to use a come along. I'll show you guys that um, to pull it forward, but we got it forward, and it's set right in there. I haven't even checked to see if the shifter's through the floor yet, but guys, I'm hungry, and I'm going to run into town, so I'm going to make a quick parts list right now, write down everything I can possibly think of, and then uh, I'll run to town, and we'll go get some parts. All right, guys, so I made a run down to the auto parts store. I got about 20 feet of fuel line. That'll give us plenty to work with. 
Also, I got uh, some degreaser that's actually for the bus project. I got a uh, coolant for the radiator. I got two U-joints for my drive line. I got to go to my buddies and press the old ones out. I got two inline fuel filters because I have no idea what's inside that gas tank. It's been sitting for two years. I got two bottles of heat that'll mix with the water that's in the gas tank. Uh, I got five quarts of engine oil. I got a case of brake cleaner. The puppy's outside on my tarp and brought his toy outside and I'm supposed to leave it. But, uh, I got the motor in the car. It's looking beautiful. Uh, basically, I just got to start wiring everything up. I forgot my conduit when we were at the store, so I'll have to do that later. Um, the motor mounts are in line, but the chains still hold the motor. So once I let this down a little bit, then those will sit down. I can slide my bolt in place and uh, we'll be locked in up here. All right, guys. Um, before this engine got pulled, the heater core actually went out, so I had the hoses bypassed. But now we have an actual heater core, so we can uh, connect this. But I guess I should probably put some hose clamps on it. Now, there's nothing wrong with this hose. I'll just save it, and if I ever have to bypass again, I'll be able to bypass with the same hose. It's got a connector to connect the uh, the two hoses right there. And she's thrown in the junk pile. Obviously, we have a lot of extra hose, so uh, we're going to go ahead and pull those back off, and then we'll cut the extra hose off the length that we want. All right. Okay, we got our uh, hot wire to our battery. We have our hot wire from ignition. We have our trigger wire from ignition, which doesn't actually work because the key has a problem. But we have our trigger wire for ignition. So this will be a push button that triggers the solenoid. Got my oil pressure sender hooked up. Charging plug. Oh, I like that. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and lower the motor down to the rest of the position. I'm just going to start this because technically I'm still working on the motor. So we got that counting again. We're just going to lower this thing down and it should sit right down where I can put the bolts in. Number one. It slid in so perfectly that the other one must be a pain in the ass. How did I know one side was going to be easy and one side was going to be a pain? Let me get some brake clean and try to spray that hole. I'm going to try to uh, ratchet it in place. That's the bolt that I'm trying to get to go in. <clears throat> that other side kicked my tail. This bolt went in real easy. But I still need to tighten it up, so I'm going to do that real quick. Camaro motor is back in. And I'll prove it. There we go. Every minute I was working on it, installing the engine, I had it running. Obviously, I took a couple breaks and I went to town for parts. But a uh, total elapsed time. One hour, 19 minutes. It's come a long way from the rodeo we started with. Most of my electrical wires are hooked up. This is a temperature sensor. I don't know what that goes to. I don't know what that goes to. They're both important. 
the puppy's been a big help as y'all can see so I can't take all the credit all right guys I'm gonna start getting these chains off of this motor this one's bent obviously it's been holding four or five hundred pounds for a while Your free little motor. All right, what's next, guys? Power steering. Uh, that doesn't look like power steering fluid to me. Just cleaning up the threads there. Just make sure to get a good seal. I've actually got a line wrench, so we'll tighten this up really well. Right there. power steering line was leaking last time the return hose so I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this one off uh, I've got the new line already because it's the same as the fuel line so so let's see about where we want it we're gonna run it up a little higher than last time so I'm gonna cut it off right there I lost my spot so I'm gonna measure it again and up we go come on get get Come on now. I haven't had power steering in two years, man. I'm not gonna know what to do. And obviously the radiator's not in here yet, but we can put this one on. I just gotta suck up this last one. All right, short of our uh, radiator, all of our hoses are done. Actually, I'm just gonna hook this chain back up on the top. Dang, I have a whole bottle of power steering fluid and it's empty. All right guys, let's take a quick gander over. Got all my plugs hooked up. I got a spark plug tester on number one just to make sure. I haven't changed any of the timing. Everything should be good. Um, need a battery, obviously. Uh, here's the fuel line right here. I know you can just barely make it out, but there's the fuel line right there. And it just plugs right here into this little nipple. But I'm going to replace this fuel line with the new fuel line we got. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to route a little loop right here. And I'm going to put an inline fuel filter right there. That way we can filter anything before it even goes into the pump. Okay. So that will be temporary just to make sure the, that the tank's okay. Let's see what else. i got to get my fan on. Alright, so here's my fan bolts. Radiator obviously goes right here. The fan shroud is going to go right here. All right, let's see what do we have left on this side. We got our power steering hooked up. We got our uh, high pressure hose hooked up for the power steering. Uh, the only thing we don't have is that one temp sensor. I've got two wires over here. Luckily, I was smart enough to write on it what it was, but uh, as you can see, uh, the writing's not there anymore. So uh, I guess I can hook up my throttle cable while y'all are still with me. Boom. All right, we got throttle. We got a throttle. Boom. And just so happens I found the clip for it earlier. So we are full throttleage. Booyah. Oh. Yeah, that clip just came off and disappeared, so I got my fuel fuel filter installed before my pump. My lines are kind of kinked, but I'll know pretty much right away if that's getting nasty feel or not. Uh, I got all my wires hooked up. I found out where this wire goes. It goes to my blower motor, so that's one out of the way. This one I still have no idea, but it's a pretty big wire, so it's important. I'll have to figure that out. Let me see. I washed off the fan. I am going to go ahead and paint it. This is that heat. This is a um, it's a water remover, basically. It's uh, it's mostly alcohol. Alcohol mixes with water. It doesn't really separate like most things would separate different levels. Alcohol will usually um, it will usually mix with the water, and then you can burn it. So that's the idea behind this. Uh, I don't know that there's water in the tank or anything. I'm just being careful, I guess. 
I siphoned this tank one night whenever I was desperate. I forgot to get gas on the way home. So it's pretty empty, if not empty. It's really crazy that I'm pouring gas in this car right now. I mean, I've looked at this car every day for the last two years when I pull in and out of my house, you know. I couldn't wait to drive it again. Now I'm so daggum close I can't even see straight. We've got the motor in, We've got the battery installed, I got most of the wiring hooked up, I got um, fuel in the tank, everything's hooked up for the most part. My trans member's still not fully connected, I have no drive line in here, no water in the motor. I still got a little bit of work to do, but now it's 7 o'clock. Minus my town. Minus my run to town, I probably got seven hours in on this thing today. Well, I just put the key in the ignition for the first time. That felt pretty good. Uh, here's my starter wire. Here's my jump wire. I'm just going to touch these together one time. Just make sure I get a little pop pop. And we did. All right, so now we're just going to give her a dab of fuel. All right. And she ought to fire up right here. Didn't mean to touch those together again. All right, we still have no fuel through the lines. I wonder if it's kinked too badly. I just put a brand new fuel pump on here, so I know that the fuel pump's not bad. More fuel. Still not pulling any fuel. Alright guys, uh... I'm still not pulling any fuel. Like I said, this line's a little kinked because I got it a little short, so... I'm going to try to pull this fuel line off. I'm actually going to blow into the line and make sure that there's no clogs from here to the tank. There easily could just be a dirt dauber nest or something in this fuel line. Alright guys, well, this is do or die. Uh, there was a uh, blockage in the fuel line that's coming from the tank. So I sprayed some brake cleaner down inside there and it actually cleared the line out. So that's a good thing and a bad thing. The bad thing is that means that there's junk in the fuel that's about to come out but that's why we got a fuel filter in line uh, the good part is we should be running on our own now so I got a little more brake clean we're just gonna throw in there just to uh, give it something to burn and hopefully that'll give it enough time to pull fuel obviously I'm running out of light so that's why I said do or die here we go Oh my goodness. Uh, what is that? <laughs> so this is all supposed to be clear and it's uh, obviously not. So what I did was, uh, what I did just now was waste about five gallons of fuel probably. Because this tank's got to be siphoned out I think. Uh, I don't see very much gas that's in that bad of shape, so I'm not gonna run that through my brand new carburetor. All right, guys, uh, the fuel that's coming out of the tank is literally black. I think it might have just been what was in the line. I decided to run it anyway. Uh, my needle and seat was stuck on my carburetor, so it just started pissing everywhere. I had a couple fuel leaks. I got everything tightened down now. I didn't want to leave on that note, so I'm gonna let it start up. It's gonna run for just a second for you guys, and then we'll actually call it a night. Want something for the choke? Yeah, I'll drop something in there. Oh, bit me. All right, guys. That was a much better ending to the video, I think. Next time you see this car, it's going to be driving down the road. Thanks for watching.